Yo, what's good guys and welcome to a brand new video here back on my channel and today I'm going to show you how to reduce your input delay no matter which input you use, if you use mouse and keyboard or controller, it doesn't really matter at all guys and I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks some pro players doesn't want you to know how you can actually drastically reduce your input delay I've been sitting here again for tons of hours guys trying to find all the best tips and tricks for you and all I'm asking you in return is just to leave a like on this video and without any further ado, let's get straight into today's topic. So yeah guys, and for the first part, I'm quite sure none of you really knows that Windows has a built-in feature where you can pretty much set up how much input delay there should be between single key presses and as you can see right now here guys, the repeat delay, you want to put it on short and the repeat rate on fast to just minimize the amount of input delay you can naturally have and a lot of people don't notice but this is actually built into Windows and this is our first step. Pretty much just copy those two settings, just drag it all the way to the right side and you should have naturally the lowest amount of input delay possible on Windows. And yeah guys, for this next step we're going to be talking about the tool which is called Set Timer Resolution, which is an absolutely amazing tool and what it does, it pretty much reduces your stock input delay of 1 millisecond to 0.5 milliseconds all your actions are 50% faster, it doesn't matter if you're on controller, mouse and keyboard whatsoever. And yeah, pretty much this is the best thing possible because on top of the steps we already did before, if you're on mouse and keyboard, you can reduce your input delay even more with this program. And if you're on controller, you pretty much still reduce your input delay on 50%, so it's still a win-win situation I would say. And let's continue to the next tip. And yeah guys, this next step is also insanely easy. Pretty much all you guys need to do is open up your NVIDIA control panel down your Windows bar and then head over to manage 3D settings and just straight up copy all of my settings. Um, these are pretty much the best settings you can get for the least amount of input delay and the highest performance in games. As you can see, everything is set to perform max performance mode, high performance mode and just straight up copy all of these settings and you should be good to go. And after that, make sure to go over to adjust image settings and then pretty much as you can see it will be set here to the middle one which is use advanced 3d image settings and then just click on the last one and drag it all the way over to the left side for you it's probably going to be in the middle if you haven't ever changed it then just drag it all the way to the left side and as you can see it's now set to max performance then just simply hit apply and then just simply close the window and you're good to go and yeah guys now i'm going to give you the best settings in fortnite as well for the lowest amount of input delay Obviously, as you guys should already know, the ultra performance mode, which is pretty much a new feature since like two months, is the best way to get the lowest amount of input delay. Other than that, put all your options on low. The only thing I like to keep on is pretty much the view distance on far, since, yeah, I don't know, I play competitive, so therefore I need it. Um, obviously, if you want to gain the most amount of FPS, just put it simply on near and you should be good to go. Um, other than that, I'm using a stretch resolution. I've got tons of guides already on my channel. I'm gonna link some of them in the description how to actually apply stretch resolution since this does help indeed as well with gaining extra FPS and reducing input delay. And other than that, the only option I would also recommend you is pretty much turn off all of your replays, all of the recordings you know in the background because this will cost you important FPS and therefore cause more input delay because you put more workload onto your system overall. And that's pretty much it guys. We covered everything which is right now here in game and see you guys in the next step and yeah guys for the last part i just want to make sure that you know that all of the devices if it is a second monitor a second mouse maybe some extra keyboard you've got just plugged onto your pc just for it to look cool i don't know for the rgb whatsoever a webcam whatsoever all of these devices will cause more input delay while playing so make sure while you're playing arena or some other important stuff i don't know you're recording right now and you want to really reduce the amount of input delay especially while recording or live streaming unplug everything which is unnecessarily so you make sure you get the least amount of input delay and with all of these steps you pretty much should be good to go let me know down in the comment section if it helped and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe guys, this would help out tons. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out. Peace. I sorry, she said do you miss me baby, all I said was Harley. You should bring your sister, she could ride me like a Harley. I might tag team with mama young Jeff Hardy, yeah. I might pull up to your party, keep a glizzy on me just in case he try to rob me. Parking in my system got me feeling kinda nauseous.